Hello, lovelies. All right. Now, first thing first, we're going to start on the eyes. Now, I've already got my eyebrows done, so I am going to apply the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion all over my lids and underneath my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to set that with my rather empty NYX HD Studio Finishing Powder. And I'm also going to sweep that all over the rest of my face just to kind of give me a dry, even base for the face paint to stick to. And for the eyes, I am going to be taking the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette and using the shade Sexpresso, I'm going to sweep that all over my lids. some depth and smoke it out a bit. I am going to be taking the Makeup Forever Artist Shadow in black and swimming that all into the crease. To highlight the brow bone, I am taking the same natural matte palette and using the shade Heaven and taking a tiny fluffy brush and sweeping that all over my brow bones. And for the eyeliner, I am taking the MAC Fluid Line Eye Pencil and I am going to smudge that all along my top and bottom lash lines. Don't worry about getting it too horribly neat. Just a nice happy little smudgy black line will do. my lashes and apply the L'Oreal Miss Manga Volume Mascara. Now the eyes are done, time for the fun part. For the white part of the scale face, you are going to take the Maron FX Cream Makeup 
in white, obviously. And I'm just going to use a foundation brush. You can use a beauty blender or an applicator sponge or whatever you want. And I am going to apply that all over the bottom half of my face, sort of cutting it off a little bit around the middle of my nose and just completely filling it in as evenly as possible. For the details of the skull, I am going to be using the Maron FX Cream Makeup in black. And I am taking a tiny brush, and first I'm going to fill in the nose. Now you can have this go as high up as you want. As you can see, I made it go a little bit above the white quote unquote cutoff line, so to speak. And then just fill it in evenly. <laughs> After mapping it out a bit, I am going to fill in the hollows of my cheeks to kind of act as a contour as well as to represent the quote unquote missing space that would be there if you were actually half skull. <music> represent the teeth. Now you can make this a little more detailed. I just went with a more simplistic approach of lines, but you can definitely do some shading and make it look more like more realistic teeth. To finish the look, you are going to draw a line over the white cutoff point that you started with earlier, and this gives you a bit of an emphasis as well as adding a little bit of extra detail and flair. Then just set everything with the Mehron setting spray. Be very careful, this stuff will splash into your eyes, and yeah, you're good. <music> this is the finished look. Now you can add a wig, contacts, lashes, whatever your speaking little heart desires. And this is a perfect look for Halloween, parties, what have you. 
But all the helpful links are in the description below. And I love you guys dearly, and I'll see you next time. Bye.